Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with the Hemlock and Oak. This is the undated Hemlock and Oak. And then I've got the Hobonichi Techo Cousin for 2022. And I wanted to actually show you guys some of the similarities and some of the differences between the two planners because I have had a couple of comments or a couple of messages asking, you know, why am I making the switch? They're gonna miss the weekly layouts in the Hemlock and Oak. And I totally appreciate every single one of those messages. So I wanted to kind of show you guys the similarities, differences between the two, kind of why I'm switching. Let's get started. Okay, so for the purposes of the video today, basically this is the Hemlock and Oak that is undated. And this is going to actually look slightly different than the dated version for 2021 and 2022. And this comes in the peony cover with the Hemlock and Oak embossed there. This here is the Hobonichi Techo for 2022. And I actually got the Cousin Avec. So this is an A5 size and the Cousin Avec actually comes in two books. So you've got the one for January to June and then July to December and again this is the A5 size. You can see immediately that the Hobonichi is slightly smaller than the Hemlock and Oak. Like very very slightly. So the Hemlock and Oak is actually just slightly larger than an A5. I don't know what you would call that size but it is slightly larger. And then in terms of the covers this is a hard cover and it is, and actually next year, Hemlock and Oak are coming out with some cloth linen covers as well as the, uh, I guess the faux leather that I've got, which is dirty, oh, I apologize. So then the Hobonichi Techo actually comes with kind of more like a uh, cardstock cover. And this actually doesn't come in a variety of colors the way that you can personalize your cover is actually by buying cover on clear covers like this and adding decoration or buying the different covers that Hobonichi sells or there's other, a lot of other retailers that sell different covers for the Hobonichi Cousin as well. So another thing that you will see here, they are both book bound but the way that the spines are is different. So I mean this is definitely going to be a lot thicker and on the side it does say undated and then it's a different type of binding here. What I will tell you though is that the makers of Hemlock and Oak spent a lot of a lot of time studying different types of planners that lay flat. So they actually did create a binding to make sure that this planner does lay as flat as possible. Which actually I think they did a really great job doing. And then with the Hobonichi, for those who are familiar, they do have the binding where it does lay flat as well. So comparing the two of them, yes, when you've got the big Hobonichi and Techo Cousin, the one book, it will still lay flat open just like that. All right, so in terms of differences, there are quite a few differences just outwardly on the cover. Now let's go for comparison purposes. I will just use the January to June to compare, but let's open them up. I'm going to zoom out a bit here. So open them up and actually the cover that I've got on here is just a clear A5 cover from Midori that I got on Amazon and it actually is actually linked in the description below. So open them up and you've got that page and you can already tell that the colors are going to be different inside. So there is no name page on the Hobonichi Techo whereas there is a name page in the Hemlock and Oak. And then the Hemlock and Oak itself has an index and actually has this beautiful quote on the front that says the mighty oak was once an acorn that stood its ground. And immediately what I'm going to tell you guys is the difference in the paper. So the paper in the Hobonichi Techo is the River Tomo paper. It's a very thin paper but this paper is amazing when it comes to fountain pen inks, watercolors. It can hold up to a lot more different mediums than certain other papers can. With this paper, the paper for the Hemlock and Oak is a 120 gram or 120 GSM or 80 pound paper. And it's actually made with 10% recycled material. But you can already tell that this is quite a bright white and the River Tomo paper is definitely a different white. But you're opening, when you open up the Hobonichi Techo, it goes immediately into the year at a glance. 
whereas the hemlock and oak actually has a bit of a how-to guide and then goes into a self-reflection. I won't go into every single one of these pages just because I'm going to link actually my review of hemlock and oak in the corner here, but you can see that there is a lot more in terms of goal setting in the hemlock and oak. I don't think you necessarily have that in the Hobonichi, although there are some pages in the back. Again, I don't understand Japanese, but there are a few pages in the back that you'd certainly use for goal setting. There's a timetable, favorites, and different stretches. I'm not sure what all these are for. Oh, I think like if you're born in that year, it's showing you how old you are. Got it. <laughs> Again, different purposes for the planner. Hemlock and Oak is really focused on goal setting and helping you to achieve those goals. So then what, there is a year at a glance here, but their year at a glance is more that you can actually fill that out on your own. Once again, this is the undated planner, so this may look different than the actual dated planner. Then the year at a glance in the Hobonichi Techo looks like this, and there's definitely different uses for it. So you can use it as a habit tracker, you can use it as kind of an index for your daily pages, whatever you would like. And there's more year at a glance there. So it gives you four pages overall for year at a glance, and they give you four pages here as well. And then it goes straight to the monthly pages, and it does as well in the Hemlock and Oak, only in the undated. This is a note that I have to make. In the undated Hemlock and Oak, all the months are together and all the weeks are together. In the dated, it is not that way. In the dated, the months are with the corresponding weeks. Whereas in the uh, Hobonichi Techo, it is actually similar to the undated Hemlock and Oak where all the months are together, all the weeks are together, and then all the dailies are together. So you'll see the month here actually has two pages. So let me go to a blank one here. They have the goal setting page, so you have the space to plan, you can set your goals, and then they have the monthly spread. In the Hobonichi Techo, it is just the monthly spread. You can tell I'm pre-planning already. Just the monthly spread. And I'm hoping to use this as both, you know, a social media planner and possibly as a gratitude spread, because now I'm hoping to use this as my journal with the daily pages, so I'll need room for my gratitude. So after all of the monthly pages, there is actually a year-end reflection, but actually after the Hemlock and Oaks monthly pages. Now in the event, the monthly pages only go to actually the end of July in the first book. And then it goes straight to the weeklies. Here you have your year-end reflection, looking ahead, and then it goes into the weeklies. I'm going to show you a blank, let's see here, a blank weekly between the Hemlock and Oak and the Hobonichi. So now actually let's put these together so you guys can see the side here. So down the sidebar, maybe let's do it like this and zoom in. Okay, so down the sidebar here for the Hobonichi you do have the year as well as what month. Um, December and January, and then which week it is as well. Because this is undated, you don't have that here in the undated Hemlock and Oak, but you do have room to write down goals and values. And then actually quite a bit of space here down the sidebar where I was using it for habit trackers, which I will be doing the same thing using these for habit trackers as well. And then if we move to the actual day with the Hobonichi, all the days are up at the top and then there's a space underneath, just like in the Hemlock and Oak, that you can... I don't actually use that space underneath the Hemlock and Oak, but people use it for tracking the weather, um, specific work shifts, things like that, or things that stick out for the day. With the Hobonichi, their timing starts at 5 in the morning and goes all the way until the last number you see here is the 4, but then it goes till 5, 5, so 24 hour clock. Whereas with the Hemlock and Oak, it starts at six and ends just after 10. And then there is space down here. Now, the way that I was using this was definitely time blocking, but then the space down here, I was using for tracking my steps and calories burned as well as planning my meals. I'm not going to be doing that in the Hobonichi 
cousin. I'm going to be using this for time blocking and probably let myself decorate a little bit more down here. Still haven't figured out where I want to put my steps and calories, but I will talk about that in a little bit. So really, the way that I'm going to decorate the Hobonichi Cousin, the weekly spreads anyway, are going to be very similar to how I decorated the Hemlock and Oak. And the reason that is, is because the way that I'm using these planners actually isn't going to be that different. I will still use the time blocking mechanism here. And actually, as you can see, like for example, this week's spread has actually been using a Hobonichi kit from Let's Plan It. So with the beauty about the Hemlock and Oak is that you can actually use either Hobonichi kits or regular vertical kits in here and it will work out beautifully. The con with the Hobonichi, because the columns are smaller, you do have to use a Hobonichi kit in here because the columns are smaller, unless you want to use a vertical kit and then cut everything down. Whereas here, you have the freedom to do both and I actually really like that. So then with the Hemlock and Oak, you just do have all of these weekly pages and then at the back you have a few notes pages. And then that is the back of the planner. Whereas with the Cousin, you get to, for the tech, uh, sorry, for the Avec anyway, you get to the last week of June and then it says turning the page to a new year and then you have daily pages and these daily pages are the main reason well one of the main reasons that I want to switch to the cousin I love the amount of space that is in here for journaling I can use this part I won't use this for time blocking I'll use this for to-do lists I will track my food down here and then you use all this space for journaling and I have seen a lot of people such as Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co who is a great example of how she makes this work functionally and then I I'm gonna love the fact that everything is just one book. I won't have a journal in a separate planner. I won't have my schedule in a separate planner, my fitness in a separate planner. It will all be within one book. And I cannot wait to see how chunky it's gonna be. So then again, with the Cousin Evec, you have the daily pages that go until June 30th. And then you have notes pages in the back. Not a lot of notes pages, like literally three no sorry four and then you've got I want to call them the admin pages in the back you've got a little bit of graph paper if you want to graph progress timetable so this is a good idea for kids schedules um, favorites you can track TV shows music movies that you watch things like that my 100 I don't know what I want to use this for what are you guys' ideas for using this and then I have no idea what this is. <laughs> but it's so interesting to see this. But anyway, that is that is the Hobonichi cousin. Now, going back to the year, I don't know how I'm going to use the year overview, whether I'm going to decorate it or leave it as is. I know a lot of shops out there create sticker kits to make this page a little bit more appealing and then cover this with a box so that you can actually write the important dates and then with the actual year I'm hoping to actually use this as my habit tracker if you guys are familiar with the habit tracker that I have in my monthly spreads here I want to put my habit trackers here and I think at the end of the year it would look absolutely amazing and then I could still put important dates and things down at the bottom here. I'm just really excited about the versatility of the cousin, the size of it. I feel like for me going back to, let's see, let's find a mini. I don't even know where my mini happy planner is anymore. But the sizing of it I think will be great for me to keep track of everything. So I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea of the similarities and differences between the Hemlock and Oak and the Hobonichi Techo Cousin. And basically to show you guys, one of the reasons I'm transitioning from the Hemlock and Oak to the Hobonichi is 
that the Hobonichi has the hourly vertical pages that I'm already so familiar with by using the hemlock and oak. But again, the main reason, or really one of the two reasons that I'm moving to this particular planner are the journaling pages in the back and the paper. The paper can feel a little bit intimidating and the paper isn't for everybody and that's okay. But I'm excited to use this paper with fountain pens, which is another rabbit hole that I'm probably gonna be going down. But just the amount of, you know, the different mediums that you can use with it. I'm really excited for that part of my planner journey. All right, so that is it. I hope again, gave you guys some insight into that. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I still do have a link for Hemlock and Oak, Karina 10 for 10% off your order. I love supporting a Canadian company, so please by all means. All right, thanks again guys for watching and have yourselves a great day.